Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebMastery.com. Today, we're going to talk about how to install WordPress 2.7 on your Mac in under five minutes. The reason you might want to do this are to test out your blog, test out some ideas, work on some designs, or just to be able to play in a safe environment and not be live on the web. So here is how to install WordPress 2.7 on your Mac in under five minutes. First, you're going to need to go to MAMP.info and download the free version. At the time I'm making this video, the link is actually broken, so you cannot download it. But if you type in the address below, you'll easily be able to access the download file. It's about 130 megs, and it'll take you a little bit of time to download. After double-clicking the DMG file, you'll be presented with a menu. What you need to do is drag the MAP folder into the Applications folder. This is very important because MAMP uses a lot of internal calls, and by keeping it all in one location, it's going to make your life a lot simpler. Once you have this folder installed to your applications folder, you need to go ahead and go to your applications, open up the MAMP folder, and double click the MAMP program. Make sure you click that your server has been started. Then I want you to click on My PHP Admin and make a database. Note the name of the database. All you need to do next is go to WordPress.org, download the zip, and decompress the file. Then drag the unzipped folder into your htdocs folder, which is located in your MAMP application folder. In your web browser, type in the address. If you didn't change the name of anything, it should be localhost colon 8888 forward slash WordPress forward slash. Next, you need to click the option to create a wp-config.php file. Type in the database name you created earlier and use root for both your login and password information, all lowercase. Click run install, give it a title, give it your email. Then click continue and note the login and password when you're done. After you log in with your login and password, you're going to want to change the password to something you can actually remember. Now you'll have your website up and running on your own Mac. That way you can test things out and see how you like it. All right, thanks.